Well, Russell Ingle, welcome to Matech Centre. <laughs> Mate, something I've wanted to do for a long time. We've got you hooked up to the lie detector <laughs> oh, no. machine. Now, for you folks at home, he's gone to great lengths. You can see there the lie detector machine requires putting on his finger. Well, he's got rid of his <laughs> finger, so we couldn't do it, but we've got it around his belly. I'm not worried about Mate. that. <laughs> it's just the two wires that are connected to me, Jack's crackers. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't lie and you'll be as good as gold. Yeah. Okay, mate. So let's start first of all with last year, 2013. You enjoyed all the fruits of the, the success that came from a quasi-retirement. Were you ever really going to retire? No. I wasn't intending to, to retire, but others had different ideas. We've all seen your acting, your average acting in the super cheap ads over a period of time. Do you actually think you're a good actor? I think I am a good actor and I should be in a movie. <laughs> He's a good actor. <laughs> this is a, can you just recalibrate your machine? Mate, let's wind the clock back to the SCAFE incident. 2005, Eastern Creek. We're looking at that little bit of vision now. Now, had you have stopped right there and got out of the car, would you have knocked him ass overhead? Yes. <laughs> You've carted your poor white Julie around racetracks for many, many years, often in the scungy old camper van. Do you still really consider yourself a romantic? No. I love Marvel. This is good. Do you consider yourself like the sort of guy that babes want to marry? Yes. <laughs> I want to roll this little bit of vision. Remember you and me, Formula Ford, 1989 Malala. For a long time I've wanted to ask this question. We glued about it at the time. Did you intentionally tip me out? Yes. <laughs> you <freak. Yeah. laughs> okay. That's been a lot. That's been waiting a long time for that. Answer. That's been nearly how many years is that? That's that's a lot of years. Mate, on the subject of wages, you've done pretty well. Bikes, boats, nice house. Do you actually think you've been paid what you're worth? Yes. Predictable, if nothing else. <laughs> Russell, you were 46 when you did Formula Ford with me in 1989, so it's probably inappropriate to talk about your age. How old are you? 49. Inconclusive. That's how good a liar I am. <laughs> Is there a chance that you've actually convinced yourself so well about your age that you're going to fool a lie detector? I think I just did. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Thumbs up. <laughs> this is your 23rd Bathurst start this weekend, and now we know the enforcer thing is real. Do you actually think as you come up behind some guys in their car, they should be worried about you this weekend? Yes. Oh, I love it, mate. You are the man. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, brother. That was outstanding. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm sweating and crying. <laughs> mate, you are sweating like a gypsy with a movie. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's good TV. That's great TV. <laughs> it took 25 years for the truth to come out about the Formula Ford yeah. shot at Malala. Can you believe it? Have a look at this. Attack of the Greybeards here now, Friday Night Live. We've got Stephen Richards. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Greg Murphy, Craig Lowndes and Mark Scaife. Give them a round of applause. How's this for a stat between this lot? 18 victories from 87 starts. You blokes, did your mums ever tell you you should have been sharing earlier in your did life? You, did you like contribute? Like I would have killed for one. Did no, you contribute to that? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, uh, welcome, boys. It's great to have you. Uh, your summary of the lie detector with Larko there, Richo? Um, I, I think some of it's pretty well spot on. Yeah. I think uh, Russell's done a good job of lying to the lie detector. <laughs> <laughs> when you practice it for so many years, it works. Murph? 
That's some of the best TV I've ever seen. <laughs> um, there's a lot more questions yeah. I'd like to know the answers to, though. It's a new twist on reality television, that one. That's not... He, he doesn't live in reality, old <laughs> no. Russell. He doesn't live in reality. <laughs> Craig? I just want to know what Mark would have thought. Oh. Would you, you have given one back? Oh, rock solid. <laughs> <laughs> and, and not only that, how can you trust the bloke that self-titles himself? Yeah, that's right. I mean, you, give, you give yourself your own nickname, yeah. the Enforcer. How can you trust a bloke like that? Yeah. I, need to, I need to think of a brand name. Yeah. I'll call well, myself the Enforcer. The Enforcer. Yeah, yeah, what a great yeah. idea. Uh, look, on the subject of the Enforcer, apparently, allegedly, he's invited Mark Larkham to dinner back in the motorhome. Now, I'm surprised that you two have managed to get back together, Larko. Yeah, well, mate, well, I reckon we're going to have some words. Uh, there's no question about that, and so true to form. I look along the back here, look, Winnebago's beautiful transporters, and didn't I say, like, he's been carting poor old Jules around in a caravan. Have a look at it. It is the worst bit of kit in the pit lane. <laughs> so... He's locked the door. Hello? Uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, Jules. How are you? <laughs> good to see you. Hey, that was, um, that was a lot of fun and uh, good TV. There was... Um, a lot of questions that didn't go to air, as you know, but you're the only bloke that we know, um, the boys on the panel were right, that can actually lie to a lie detector. <laughs> how was that? Actually, how, how many people had actually fooled a lie detector? How good's that? Well, mate, we've been trying to flush out your age for a while. Jill's up the back there is the only one that actually does know. I don't reckon you're a day over 38, mate. But uh, so something smells good here, mate. I, I know I was probably a little tough on you last year with your with the dinner that you uh, were knocking up, or Jules was. I know, well, I know Jules is a good cook, because you punch him well above your weight there, pal. Don't worry about that. Um, um, look, mate, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon that... Uh, I'm over the moon you've asked me over for dinner. Oh, mate, I'm absolutely over the moon. I'm not sure about last time, because last time you said our food tasted like dog food, and, and the kids were really upset, because they think we make some of the best spaghetti bolognese. Well, they're that upset they're not even here, so... I apologise, mate. It, it, yeah, come, mate. Like, what have you knocked up this year, mate? No, a little bit of... Stay. This is a Friday night ritual. Friday night, Bathurst ritual was to have spaghetti bolognese. Yep. So, yeah. you got you got to try it. Have a try. Yeah. Any good? Blow, it's pretty hot. Is so. this your own... Uh, yeah, yeah, Your own yeah. brew? Hey, hey, we've taken big steps here to make this right. And verdict. Mate, that's not bad. You're on the lie detector. You're on the lie detector here. Because yeah. you, Actually, it, mate, you caught our last lot, dog food. <laughs> That tastes like dog shit. Oh, oh, get out, it does not. Oh, 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 that, oh, that is, that, you, that, you didn't make that, did you? You've made this. No, that, this no. Is, oh, that's good. You've got you to admit it's good. Tell me that's yeah, not good. No, that's actually quite good. Finally. Quite Marco good. Things are good. Thanks, buddy. Do you want to know the special ingredient? No one... Is he the cook? Is, is he the cook? Yeah, I cook the spaghetti bolognese. This is a secret ingredient, and you can't tell anyone, because this is a trade secret, all right? I'm with you, brother. All right. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Mate, hey, turn around, turn around, turn around. Bend over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. You're making me cry. Just knock it off, you two. Come on, straighten up. I can't believe it. <laughs> Managed to get some of Tony Quinn's VIP pet food into the game there. 